Okay, hi Johnny. So yeah, so we want to use the households layer, which I've just turned on now. And this is a, a, a little demonstration project that I set up for Gitahi and Andrew uh, for the Romonge province. So we've got our households and if we want to uh, identify um, denser areas and sort of cluster them into almost villages, like a villagization sort of project, we can use an algorithm uh, which clusters these households um, based on specific criteria that we will then set out. And then those clusters can then be converted into polygons. So it's quite a straightforward process. So if we have a look at, uh, that's basically just a household as a point file. This is that same households layer set up as a, a heat map. So the heat map kind of uh, indicates where those dense areas might be. But let's go ahead and run this uh, little uh, algorithm for the households and see what it looks like. Okay, so I just need to turn this on and then, okay, so it's DB, DB scan clustering. So that's the one I'm going to use. Okay, so it's asking me for my input layer, which is households. So the minimum cluster size. So, so how many households uh, is the minimum to form a cluster? I don't, I don't know what that would be um 25 let's say okay maximum distance between cluster points okay so that can also maybe be 25 meters let's make that 50 or should we make that 100 let's just make it 50 meters see what it looks like okay so what this is going to do is going to create a temporary layer called clusters and it will have two new columns with um, the cluster ID, let's see what it does. So run that. Close that. So there's our so there's our our new point layer. And if we have a look at the attribute table, it's got cluster ID and cluster size. If I just flip this round, okay, there we go. So there's the cluster ID is forty eight, and then okay, if there's fifty. There should be 50 records in 48. So let's just scroll down to where we see 48 again. If we select that, okay, there we go. Yeah, 50. Okay, so there's 50. The cluster size, how many households within that cluster? Okay, so it doesn't really help us at the moment because it's still points. So all we then need to do is just convert it into um, polygons. And we can use a little algorithm called bounding box. Uh, minimum bounding geometry, that's the one there. Okay, so we're going to use clusters and then the field we will use is cluster ID. And actually before we do this, maybe what we can do, let's just, uh, I'm going to close this down. And if we, cause if we have a look at the, the, um, the attribute table, there's a, there's a bunch of records that actually have a null value. There's a null value. Let's turn all those ones that have null off. So I'm just going to go and run a little filter quickly. Um, okay, cluster ID is not null. Uh, that's the thing. If I zoom in, go have a look at that attribute table again. Okay, so based on that criteria, it's actually it's uh, it's going to. It's only going to create a couple of um, areas. So actually, let's change that criteria. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. It's, it's not a great demonstration. So let's remove that layer and we'll run the DB scan again. And it's going to be households, a minimum cluster size. Let's make this 10 and maximum distance between clusters. Let's run that. Close, let's uh, filter again. So cluster ID is not null. Okay. Okay, so just changing those parameters, that's uh, uh, given us quite a few more areas that it will create polygons for. Okay, so now with that, uh, let's just, I'm just going to, let's see if we run, if we run the bounding box. Okay, so the, uh, using this minimum bounding geometry, use it for clusters. Field will be field ID geometry type. We want to create a, 
a convex hull. And that kind of just creates a little um, polygon around each of those clusters. Let's run that and see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. So now if we, if we pan around, you'll see that it has created these, these polygons around areas that fit that criteria. Okay, so that's, that's one way we can sort of identify uh, areas yeah, using those spe specific parameters for what constitutes a, a village and what doesn't. So, so let me know. Um, I think that might work. Let me know if you, you agree. Okay, cheers.